Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to prove that the by of the derivative of sine x using the definition, sorry about that, of derivatives. So we are going to use the definition of derivative to prove that d over dx sine x equals to cosine x. So now, what does it mean then by this? So let's start off again. So d over dx sine x, based on the formula for the definition of derivatives, can be written as the limit when delta x, which is like an extension of x goes to 0 for sine x plus delta x minus sine x over delta x. So this is how our, this will be the definition of derivatives for sine x when we differentiate it. And further simplifying it, for this, we can write, we can extend using the trigo additional formula. So, equals to limit x equals to 0 sine x cosine delta x plus cosine x sine delta x minus sine x over delta x so this will be the extended and so now let's further simplify it we will split it into two components so limit x goes to zero sorry this should be goes to zero so as you can see here, we can split this first and last term have sine x. So we can add, we can bring the sine x to one side. So it will be sine x cosine delta x minus sine x over delta x plus cosine x sine delta x over delta x and let's simplify it further equals to limit x goes to 0 and let's simplify this first we factorize it so sine sorry about that so sine x cosine delta x minus 1 over delta x plus cosine x sine delta x over delta x okay so now we can split the two terms so equals to limit sine x then this will be cosine minus 1 over x plus limit delta x goes to 0 cosine x times sine delta x over x so let's let me erase this part first
So let's continue from the top here. This, so from here we can use, and from this part, sine x doesn't have any delta x, so equals to sine x limit. Delta x goes to zero. Cosine x minus one. Delta x minus one over delta x plus this one doesn't have any delta x component, so we can bring it out. So it's cosine x times limit x delta x goes to zero sine x delta x over delta x so let's erase this part now so that we can do this so now as you can see we are left with these components here so we can use we can use the squeeze theorem for limits for trigonometric for trigonometric function. So this means that for general one, the limit x goes to zero for sine x over x will give me one. Whereas <coughs> the limit x goes to zero for one minus cosine x over x will give me 0. But notice that for this is in the opposite direction. Sorry about that. Okay, this is better. Okay, so, for this, let's say if we were to minus so limit minus cosine x minus one over x equals to so when I times when I times this by minus it will give me this so this one will give me zero. So therefore the limit of Sorry about that. So let me erase this. One minus cosine x. So sorry about that. Therefore, I can say that the limit of cosine x minus one over x as it goes to zero will give me zero. So now from here, we can apply this and this. And that we can write as sine x. This one will go, will go to, will become zero plus cosine x. This one will go to one. Therefore, this one will be zero, so hence we get cosine x. Therefore, d over dx sine x will give me cosine x. Shown. Using the definition of derivatives. So we have already proved this, and now we have come to the end of this lesson. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a comment and I will reply to your comment. Thanks so much for watching and have a nice day.